I had a strange sleep last night. You know, it was one of those ones that you just in and out of sleep. And yeah, eventually I got to sleep. I slept quite well, but, but you know when you wake up a bit fuzzy headed. Right, today's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to be working on my own van. So working on my Oveco daily. I'm going to sort some, well, I'm going to replace the rear brake pads. I think one side's slightly lower than the other, if I remember rightly. Um, but I like to give it an overhaul anyway. They're probably not completely gone, but I like to know because the amount of mileage I do that they're good. Um, got a slight squeak in the front right and a ever so slight knock, which I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I'm going to try and investigate and find out what's going on there. Um, so I'm going to give it a little overhaul. So I'm going to go to my mate's yard and then park up in there and um, get cracking. Um, it's currently, what time is it? Half nine, so yeah, and then I've got a little job in the afternoon on a friend's van changing a fuel filter an old Audi V that he's planning on turning into a camper van. And then tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, dentist. I mean, don't get me wrong, we petrified the place, got kind of got a bit of a phobia, and I'm already getting sweaty hands thinking about it, but you know, we'll get to that point. But anyway, ignore that. Right, time to get a day cracking. I'm going to jump in the driver's seat and get moving, but I'll see you guys shortly. Right, it's a cold one today, I didn't realise how cold it was. The feet started to get cold when I turned the diesel heater on. But I don't know if you can see, but foggy and icy. All oh, my hands are going to be happy today. It's a very cold one. Already can't feel my toes and my hands are cold. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Right. First thing, get this back end jacked up and get them wheels off. Right, this is, as I said before, these are never tutorials. This is not a how-to, this is just a rough guide of me working on my van. And if you want to take note on that, by all means crack on. But yeah. I always like to put an axle stand underneath, just a peace of mind. These last of tyres have been amazing. While I've been travelling around in Scotland, can't fault them. That's your disc. That's your brake pad on the side. Little gap in the middle indicates how much brake pad you've got left. Off with these little caps and you'll find an Allen key inside of here. And there's one below too. Now this is where you'll find it tricky if your sliders are seized on your calipers. The slider has got a little recess into the carrier there, so you've got to make sure that that slider is pushed out just enough so you can get the caliper out. With that done, off comes the caliper. So as I was saying earlier about the sliders, these are the sliders, they slide in and out so the caliper can grab equally on both brake pad onto the disc. You've got one at the top and you've got one on the bottom. I always like to put a bit of grease in there and throw them back in just in case, check the boots aren't split. And as you can see here, yeah, I was very close. I was pushing it a little bit there with the brake pads. Look how thin that is. This one, equally the same. I think this caliper might be binding a little bit, but I'll see how she gets on. I'll see what the wheel's like when I've turned back together again. If we compare them to a new brake pad, you'll see here. If we compare the difference between this one and this one, yeah, you can see the difference there. 
See the bit of material on this side? The big chunky bit on this one. Cleaning off the carrier is always a great idea. Cleaning that off is where the uh, brake pads sit in the carrier. So you want to keep them as clear as you can. Get them cleaned back, all four. It's always worth giving this face a good sand down as well. Any standing corrosion on there will result in wheel wobble, uh, alignment out, and all sorts of stuff. So yeah. I said earlier, clean these off, lovely jubbly. Clean the face off. Check the disc for any minor cracks or uneven wear or This one seems to be all good. Time to pop the bonnet and take the cap off the brake reservoir. A lot easier when you're pushing them pistons back. It's basically like a rubber dust cover that's split on this piston. Um, obviously that is a potential problem that's going to cause issues down the line, but I'll, that can be a later joke problem. This is a clockwise wind-backed caliper, so you need a tool. These can always be handy, I mean if you're going to, if you force too much, chances are the caliper's probably had it. But if you can do it back by hand, you've got a fighting chance. Quick bit of grease on the uh, carrier where the brake pads are going to be seated. Some people might argue with me about not putting copper slip on the back of these brake pads. Personally, I think it doesn't make any difference. I mean, on the one with the wine back caliper, Maybe, it might do something, but realistically, nah. Give it a wipe down, give it a brush down, take for anything obvious, jobs are good. Then. Get this back together, and then same with the other side. With the back brakes done, it's time to get onto that driver's door. And yes, I know my van needs a wash. Explain what I mean. If you open the door, it goes. Which is this little strap here. Now, what I'm hoping is it's actually just. I don't know, fell out the back or something, but or something's fell off. But no doubt something's probably broken, but we'll have to find out. Off comes a door card. Right, I'm going to get this strap out of the way so I can look up at the mechanism from underneath. Seems to be a bit stuck. Time for a hand hammer. Ah, got the good one. There's something rolling around in my door, and it was the bolt off the bottom of this, like, pin, as they probably call it. It sits in the top here, obviously stops the door from going too far out. With the little pin on the bottom, the one that fell off. As you see, it stops. As it's bolted to the door, it stops it from going. As I looked up, I found this mechanism that was broken. This is what latches on to the check strap as they probably call it um, and it has a nylon nut bit in the bottom but it's snapped great I'm trying to put it back together as it was at least now it's not going to get stuck there we are jobs are good in that'll do oh. right that's my van sorted for now um, I think there's any more to it Got a few little bits, so I need to get that seal for that caliper, which I'll do at some point. Um, it's not sticking at the minute, it's working lovely. 
Um, nothing, nothing until war that I thought, oh, I need to replace that now. So for now, that'll work. Right, so that's me done here for my van. Now let's go and work in a friend's van. I say friend's van. He's just said that his battery's ran flat since it's been parked up and it won't start. And he wants me to change the fuel filter. So, good speed, but yeah, let's we'll get to it and then I'll show you what I'm on about. So, <laughs> I've got my friend, right, James. Hello, James. Hello. Right. And he's got a new van. Are you converted it, James? Yeah. What's the what's the what's your plan? Right, what we're gonna do is I don't wanna I don't wanna show him just yet, because I think they they'd be quite excited. Oh okay. Right. So um, I'm more thinking Um get get it running. You're gonna go right. overlander. Get get it running right. 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 Yeah. And then clean it. Clean it. Yeah. Just it only needs a little clean though, doesn't it? Oh it's mad. I mean a, a little polish and it was a little once over and it should come up good and yeah <laughs> right sleep in, it. <laughs> sleep in it i mean right this is a van that he's got as a project right and i'm just gonna slowly turn it around and show you i'll, no, I'll get i'll zoom right in first and then i'll come out and you can see it and it'll look amazing look at it oh that's a gem that's a gem right there I mean, yes, it's faded paintwork, but Royal Mail job, eh? Didn't realise it was Royal Mail. Snazzy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I will say about this paintwork, though. Should, look, if you just look at it, it. I know, yeah, I know. They oh, I swear to you. Wow. I've seen worse air filters. Come here. Is it? Is it alright? <laughs> Look at that. That's minging. Yeah. I mean, that's bad. Back fans sucking in that shit. I mean, get the new one. Where's the new one? Looks like my seats in that bash. There's a new one. We'll just compare the two. Yeah, yeah. It's alright, James. That. <laughs> It's working. It's working. It for runs, now, isn't it? It's running. We're good to go. Go on, donkey. She's just a bit, a bit wet to begin with. That's not too which, bad, you know. Which I think it's a turbo, turbo actuator problem because it just doesn't have that little bit of poke when it first gets going. Is it third? I mean, can't find it, find it. Mate. Just shove her in. She'll go in. It's going. It's going. Let's see how she picks up. They got put down. Just not a ton. I mean, it is a van, and I know you drive a transit van, but I get what you're saying. It's a do bit you know, sluggish to do. Do you know what I mean? I do get that. I feel like it's a little bit better since then. Well, now it's not telling you that you've got water in your fuel line, so that's always a good start. So before, this van was running very sluggish whenever he was trying to put his foot down, yeah, it wouldn't have going around state. That wouldn't have gone into... That would have uh, cut out, though. Would have cut out? Obviously, it would have been in second that whole time. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. It takes a little while for it to wind up, but once she gets going, yeah, she's all right. She seems a lot better. So... Yeah, not third now, I wouldn't have been able to go into that. Oh, well, there you are. That's See, so we've, we've got an improvement. So that's, a, that's the main thing. So now we've got this van to actually drive, all right? I think it's going to now be a case of tarting her up and making it look nice. Tarting I mean, I might not show you that footage. I'll let, I might show you it later on when James has built this van up. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted as much as I know. But until then, I'll leave it at then. Van's working all right. Happy days. Are you happy, James? You go through it, yeah. Yeah. He's happy. Right, so that's a little happy face. 
Jobs are good. Well done, right. Joseph. Oh. So that's the day done with. Um, so yeah, so I've got the band sorted. Um, well, I've sorted the rear brake pads. Uh, sorted the driver's door. Very cold day. It wasn't exactly that pleasant to be quite honest with you. My hands are freezing to begin with. I mean, it's got a bit warmer as the day got on, which is good. But um, yeah, and then obviously went and sort my mate's van. Um, it's bear in mind he's just bought that van. Um, bought it cheap. Mechanically and underneath, it's fine. It just looks like it's been abandoned for 20 years on the outside and needs a bit of love. Um, I think he's planned on repainting it. Uh, obviously, as you saw, they've got the van running perfectly and he runs so much better. I mean, before we touched it, it was struggling to start and it was very slow um, to get up in the rev. Um, put that down to water being in the fuel and it's pushed itself out and I've replaced the fuel filter and primed it properly and it seems to be running a lot better. Um, told him to let me know and see how he get on. Um, yeah, I'm just parked up now and I'm going to be parked up for, well, until tomorrow. Uh, I've, got, oh, I've got the dentist tomorrow. Oh, no. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to make uh, another brew, just run out, and I'm going to make some dinner because I'm starving. I haven't eaten since, uh, well, since this morning, to be honest with you. And it's now probably about half five. So I'm going to get some gub down me, get chilling, watch, probably watch a film. Um, and then get my head down because it seems like it's going to be a long day tomorrow but yeah that's all i've done um yeah so if you like what you what you've seen today um and you enjoy my videos uh, drop me a little comment in the in the little section below um give it a like um, subscribe that'd be amazing and i'll see you guys next time Ooh.